At Loring, we want to ensure that our clients continue to receive the top level of service and the value that they have come to expect from the Loring name over the past 60 years. Whether it's responding to market trends or looking to develop new markets or geographically expanding into different regions, there's always been an integrity to the service that we have provided. It's something that was instilled in us from Joe Loring. Present principles of the firm firmly believe it and we work very hard to instill those principles to the next generation. Joe Loring started the firm in 1956, and after only six years, he was selected by the Port Authority to design the electrical engineering systems for the World Trade Center, which at the time was the largest building in the world. But we also have many, many new clients, large and small, and every one of those clients gets the same degree of attention. It's, it's the personal attention of the principals in this firm that I think make the difference from our firm to other firms. If you have a unique problem, you can rest assured that we'll be able to provide a solution for you that works. We are beyond design. We do commissioning, energy auditing, retro commissioning services for pretty much every market sector out there. We also do energy modeling and computational fluid dynamics, come up with practical and energy efficient solutions. We work on numerous different market sectors and each one of these sectors has its own specific requirements that we're tuned to. We can work with each client on an individual basis. A lot of times we work in facilities that cannot be shut down and accordingly we come up with solutions that allow the base building systems to remain active while we implement energy efficient, newer technologies into the building. Every building has its own unique features, so the way you would design a state-of-the-art laboratory is not the same way you would design an office building or an airport or an historical restoration. There are many voices that get inserted into the equation of how a building becomes successful. Listening, I believe, is probably the most important aspect of a project. Every project has different drivers. It depends on what the client's needs are. Sometimes it's cost, sometimes it's innovation, sometimes it's schedule. Like whether it's 100 square feet or it's a million square feet, we give the client the same service, the same innovation, the same problem solving techniques. Mechanical electrical engineering is a constantly evolving science. What we need to do is to respond to technology changes and, and embrace them. We're constantly learning new technologies and learning about new techniques that manufacturers are using so that we can apply that to new buildings and then help owners to cut down on uh, operational costs much better. As consulting engineers on all our projects, we strive to achieve the most sustainable or most efficient buildings using the least amount of energy possible. In a net zero energy building, the goal is to have the building produce as much energy or more than it consumes over the course of a year. It's a collaborative approach with the entire design team, working closely with the architect from the beginning of the project. Everything from site selection, position of the building, insulation, windows, in order to achieve the most efficient building. I think that the principals at uh, Loring are very open to innovative ideas and innovative thinking. My whole career I have done mainly healthcare related projects. Because of their motivation and encouragement, I was able to market Loring's technical excellence to the healthcare clients. Here at Loring, we're a single unit. We have regional offices. However, we operate as one company, which allows us to utilize talent no matter which office they're sitting in, whether it be in the Washington office, Toronto, or the New York office or the North Carolina office, we can collaborate and work together on any given project. I remember being a young engineer and having Joe Loring say to me, nothing gives me greater satisfaction than watching a young engineer advance through the ranks of the firm to a position of leadership. Part of my responsibility is to continue that, that culture and, and give back and make sure that the next generation of leaders is afforded the same opportunities as I was. NextGen is a program that I have been fortunate to be involved in. It's a program within Loring that's really intended to identify future leaders of the firm. It teaches a certain level of quality, a certain commitment to servicing our clients that is very important to project delivery and beyond project delivery to kind of having a long sustained relationship with a client. Some of the benefits of working with the technical directors in the office is some of them have 30, 35 years of experience. We can take that experience and really apply it to a project, understand the constructability of a project that they may have run into in the past. There's details that matter in a project. My senior engineers um, help me be a better engineer by guiding me in the right path. A lot of people worry that when they train employees, the employees will tend to leave for a better job opportunity. 
Voting doesn't look at it that way, and the retention rate is amazing. I do think we do a good job of retaining these people because of some of our programs that we have, not only education for the professional side, but some of our social programs that we run. We have a softball team, basketball team, we have a soccer team. We have something for fall, winter, spring, and summer. Not only do we do things as colleagues outside of work, but we also try to incorporate our families by having get-togethers, events. We get to interact with each other and get a more personal experience with each other. Life at Loring has never been better. We are 60 years young. We are a vibrant, diverse mix of seasoned professionals and very talented younger engineers. The management team at Loring is well positioned to continue to provide the high level of services that were instilled in all of us by Joe Loring's vision some 60 years ago. And no matter which markets we enter into the future, our clients can expect to get the same great value. We're extremely proud of our history and equally excited about our future. Together, we are carrying on the Loring tradition of providing exceptional and innovative engineering solutions to our clients. That is the hallmark of our firm.